Look, some Lego villagers. Ah, little droid unit. C43S M6 Junior. This place could use a fresh crop of wheat. 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 Zack Snyder, you better watch out. Lego Fortnite is coming for your trilogy, brother. The annual Fortnite x Star Wars crossover is finally over, and let's be honest, the Battle Royale portion was not the best version of this. However, the Lego Fortnite version was by far the best aspect of this multiverse crossover, bringing not only an exclusive battle pass featuring Chewbacca, but a brand new quest line within that Lego Fortnite game mode. Now this quest involves you going to a special island where you'll help a bunch of Star Wars rebels track down Empire Remnants and locate a star destroyer i don't want to spoil too much at the very least this should act as a guide for you to get through upgrading your rebel village if you happen to get this before the crossover was over if you didn't play lego fortnite before the star wars crossover was over unfortunately you're not going to be able to get this i don't think try logging in let me know in the comments but if you can't get it also let me know in the comments i think it's not that great that these crossovers are so short this Star Wars crossover in particular was less than two weeks. But in any case, if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and use code Sarhard in the item shop. Is, uh, is my guy still with me? The sky is splintering, he says. I don't see it, though. When you come into Lego mode, there's supposed to be some sort of event in the sky. Eventually. Yo, where's my Star Wars event? I was promised Star Wars and Lego Fortnite. What the hell is happening? Unfortunately, the intro cutscene not loading is a pretty common glitch. So I'll have to show you what the Star Destroyer crash looks like from the player's perspective towards the end of this video. But first, we'll get through the Rebel Village storyline. But I do have the Rebel Captain, I guess. Captain Brevara. Blast it. Buckethead's actually managed to take us down. Oh, uh, yes. So the Star Destroyer was actually chasing the Rebels down to our little Lego world. Help the Rebellion. I, I'm going to help the Rebellion if only just to have lightsabers. Oh, okay. I see. 175. That's not even that far. And the mechanics. It's just a newer game. It's going to have way more intense physics systems. Really? This is like a level one. You guys are worried about this guy? I don't even work. I don't even think about that guy anymore. Oh wow, bro, this guy is doing some cowboy. Sh Look at that, the ultimate pistol spin. Stop. That's kind of creeping me out, brother. Wow, they didn't even mention this in the patch notes. It actually changes one of your cave systems. Plastoid. Okay, this is what I need to actually build the Rebel Village Square myself. So that's good. I'm very interested to see what the buildings you get in this workbench are. Because the whole battle pass, the battle pass, right? It's a uh, Moss Eisley Cantina themed. There's like 10,000 V-Bucks worth of Lego on the other side. They really want you to buy in. In my opinion, the Lego stuff is a bit too expensive. But with these collabs, it's kind of determined by the people they're collabing with. They don't really get to determine the price. Oh no. It's a skeleton. And can I tell you guys a scary fact that you probably didn't know? There's a skeleton inside of each and every one of you right now. When I learned that, I, knew, I literally bone meal. And also, yeah, I bet you didn't know that. I bet you didn't know that bone meal is just skeleton poops. You learn something new every day. Crap Durasteel. Okay, this, yeah, see, confirming my suspicions. That is how you get the Durasteel to make these lightsabers. Probably gave me just enough for the starter building right here rebel farm oh my god rebel farm this is zack snyder's wet dream right here rebel moon wheat farm rebel farm there we go rebel building and now we're looking at the rebel outpost so it's not technically a village it's an outpost okay new villagers and what are these village space locked okay i heard that they changed how this works too that like you because you can get animals as part of your village now and they'll take up a villager slot and you can have a limited number of animals though i don't know the purpose it's like or all you do with the animals is farm them for like food oh these are new they must have added these <laughs> with the uh, taming update. Slurp mushrooms, they give you mushroom. That makes sense, right? A pig giving you up truffles, okay. Meet again, as you can see, my fleet bumped into some bucket heads and the landing was rough. As captain, it's my job to establish a temporary outpost. With a bed to rest in, I can focus all my energy on finding the crew. Feeding them is another story. I've seen the locals eat pumpkins. It'd be great to have some. Since I needed this pumpkin to get to the next level of the rebel outpost, it was time to go exploring. Oh, okay, look, there's like little bits of Dura still everywhere. 
What the hell? Is you can sit in bathtubs now. Let's go. That's an absolutely necessary feature that this game needed. All the scrubs can go get washed. Dude, I just want to find this pumpkin so I can actually craft some of this stuff before I attack the Empire. I want to use the new weapons on them. I don't want to use a crossbow. Though, I mean, that is what the Ewoks did, right? The Empire defeated by crossbows and rocks on string. Defeated by two-foot-tall, ugly-ass goblin bears. Ah, here we go. Pumpkin. Oh, okay. Just upgrade village. It's not the same as how you upgrade regular villages. Short swords. We need to make three short swords. Okay. Look, some Lego villagers. Ah, little droid units. C43S M6 Jr. Oh, they're actually already villagers. Okay, let's go. This place could use a fresh crop of wheat. 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 Zack Snyder, you better watch out. Lego Fortnite is coming for your trilogy, brother. Okay, you thought you were doing space farming rebel simulator. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Star Wars heard what you were cooking up. And it said, no, sir. We're like Kendrick Lamar in the studio. We're cooking up 19 straight minutes, bitch. Short sword. They're actually concerned with short swords. Wow. They're going back to their roots. Going full caveman. Like, listen, we know you have the capability to make blasters, but we could really use a short sword right now. Rebel farm. Okay, so there is stuff that you get from leveling up the village itself. Dock house, Imperial outpost, rebel stables, galactic lodge, rebel workshop, rebel castle. Hell yeah. Rebel Lookout, let's go. Uh, if that one looks more futuristic than the one in my hometown, I'm all about that. Imperial Castle and Rebel Command Center. Boom. Hey, they're celebrating because they're not defenseless anymore. A gift from the Rebellion. Oh, would you give me? I can't. Oh, I'm so excited. She gave me wheat and corn. She gave me wheat and corn, guys. Dude. Kathleen Kennedy is coming for your lunch, Zack Snyder. You better watch your back, bro. And you better not walk down any dark alleyways out there in, in the galaxy's edge. What's going to eventually be really interesting about Lego mode, though, and we already kind of see it, is that you can... So there's the whole creative system in Fortnite where people can make creative maps. But now there's the ability to make creative maps using Lego pieces. So there are some maps out there that are Lego creative maps. And they perform functionally the same way as normal creative maps do, but it's going to be very interesting in the future when we're, we're, we have the ability to make like longer story modes. You know, because right now we're kind of limited by the actual ability, like how much you can save on an individual map. So maps can only be a certain scope. What the hell is happening here? I'm di <coughs> Stop digging. Oh my god. Please, stop digging. I'm done digging. I don't want it anymore. Help me! Someone get an adult! I can't stop digging! Bro, come on. Oh! Dude, I thought I was gonna have to f leave the game. Right, well, let's upgrade the village. Let's see what we get next. Missing Wookie. Clear sight for the stable by destroying debris within the hologram and then craft a barn. Kind of cool. That the village square, the whole point of it is to take you through building, like, all the buildings it's going to give you. So we're actually going to get a full-size village by the end of this, just as a matter of playing. We're going to get to see at least all the free sets. I mean, it just kind of looks like wood. It is wood, and what the hell is that? Oh, it's plastoid. So is that what actually gives, like, the Star Wars stuff that reflective quality i guess maybe that's an in lore thing plastoid someone explain that to me in the comments dude my reach is insane got arms like an nba player right here yes there we go rebel stables and now i think they're gonna make me grab some animals too at this point level three missing wookie craft a bed for grolf and craft barns oh barns are a whole other thing we're gonna need a power cell cut ruby we're actually gonna have sapphire i don't even have sapphire yet that's in the frozen zone a thermal detonator is a blast core though so the difference is dl44 a heavy blaster pistol shoots a massive single shot auto fire blaster that deals damage to single target with high fire rate and then bowcaster is explosive at some point, I'll go back to my regular village, grab some cut rubies, so we can at least try the blasters. So now, I can build a barn. And that's how we're going to attract them to live with us. Cozy stables would be exactly what we needed to get Grolf's attention. 
Speak to Gralf. He'll love taming some new animals with animal treats. I have been upgraded to recruit. Oh my god, I'm a rebel recruit. Yes. All my dreams are coming true. We need to clear out the encampments before they find our village. Take on as many stormtroopers as you can. Nosy Bucketheads. Defend the rebel outpost by defeating stormtroopers. So yeah, now is the time when we're going to go get the blaster material. Five minutes later. Oh no, is this a bear? I'm getting dangerously close to it. Yeah, that is a bear. Oh, but my crossbow does 20 damage. Sorry, brother, but you stand no chance. Nice. Six meat and a fish. So it was a bear. He actually had a fish in his belly still. Hey, Groth has arrived. Currently taking care of animals so you don't... They don't feel lonely. Do we even have an animal yet? I suppose we could just attract the chicken, right? Let's see how this works. Animal bait. Just feed it to the chicken. There you go. Just that simple. Maverick. He is a maverick. He named himself. How can I argue? It's Tom Cruise chicken right here. Now we're going to make the blasters. We need four duras or six duras still. This one can be made with scrap though. Here we go, boys. E11 blaster. And we might just put the crossbow down. Ooh, look at that. Can't wait to use it on someone. I'm gonna see, maybe I can get a little bit more Durastel before we get into battle. And I noticed this has a life, like a health bar on it. So I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna use it all up quite yet. Oh, look at this, Empire Chest. That's gonna be exactly what we need. Oh, it actually triggered a raid. They sounded the alarms and nobody came, dude. <laughs> it's the king of the biomes. No matter what biome you're in, this guy is king. He's pretty far away, though. I don't think we'll attract him at all to our fight. Oh, look, you found me. Oh, it does three. Oh, but it's automatic. Okay, I only have to hold the trigger now. All right. Knowing that it's automatic, that's kind of cool. But, damn, it actually gets used up pretty quick. Well, okay, you know, I got like three of these blasters back here. I'm actually gonna antagonize this mo- Oh, oh, hold up. Hey, you wanna just give me free blast core? I'll take that. So we're gonna use up these blasters on the beast. And this is actually a desert beast. So you're way more valuable than I thought you were. I thought you were a grassland beast. Like I do 10 per shot with this, but the DPS of that E11 is way faster. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back for all that. That is a lot of good wood. Oh, God! Bastard, you third party son of a bitch. Doesn't matter what game mode you're playing, huh? Always a third party. Oh, God, he. Destroys my NPC, like my backup, so fast. It's actually kind of wild. That poison is no joke, too. That poison could take me out in a quick second. Oh! Oh! His aiming is so good. This guy's playing Battleship and I'm playing Fortnite. Yes, and my NPC returns. Oh! Oh, God! One hit changed my whole game plan. Where did the freaking beast go? Uh, I'm gonna be annoyed if the beast, like, despawned after I did all that damage to it. Or maybe it got eliminated by something else? I'm actually disappointed because it has a super rare ingredient. It has the scale and you need the scale to do stuff with but whatever and the armor on these guys is pretty thick oh we actually have a thermal detonator that i haven't tried how does this work 
Oh, toss it. You definitely toss it overhand. Oh, sorry, boys. Had to cause a little chaos there. You know, I'm going to say that I do prefer the crossbow over this E11 blaster. I can appreciate that the blaster has a higher fire rate. It's just that the way that, like, stick and moving, you know, sticking and moving with the uh, the crossbow, I think is just better. It, it means you take less damage, which is a big deal. Oh, hold up. This is the DL44. This is the other one we wanted to craft. This is a high damage single shot. I'm going to see what these guys are doing, and then we're going back to that little empire base that was there. It looked like a bunker of some sort. Maybe there's an interior. Oh! My boys are out here currently kicking ass. DL44. That's the DL44. Oh, 11. Okay, I didn't hit it, but he hit it. And it did 11. That's pretty good. That does kind of replace the crossbow, though I worry about the durability of it. The thing about the crossbow is that you can make one and just replenish it with arrows. And the arrows are very easy to craft. Wait, can I give you a blaster? Hold up now. Hold up now. No. Wow, you sick. They don't take any ranged weapons, though. They don't know what to do with it. Oh, requires code clearance. Okay, so this is something we'll have to come back to later. Wait, it did die. Here's the brute scale. Questions have been answered. Want the meat. I just want this brute scale. So we did defeat it, or it got hit. I think it got hit by that rolling guy. The thing about the animals is they will aggro each other. If you can make them hit each other, they will start attacking each other. I would say that these blasters, though, if you have a full level E11, this is probably the best weapon to take down the brutes with. Because you just strafe and blast. As opposed, like, the crossbow is better when fighting the small enemies because you do high damage every single hit. But then this one is just sustained damage. We upgrade it to level 5. Let's go, boys. We're going to save the Star Wars galaxy. And little Maverick, too. Ah, uh, look at you, little scamp. Last time, I think I had to talk to her. Yeah, she's just standing in her bed waiting for me to talk to her. Great job, recruit. Take this as a token of my thanks. On your way, I made contact with our engineer. She's been surviving on her own. Should surprise her with a workshop. Where am I supposed to put this? The last ones were outlined. Thousands of tears later. Literally just going to keep going until everything is destroyed in this area. Oh, look. There it was. Okay. Yeah, it was literally just a bush. <laughs> a single bush was throwing off my groove, bro. There we go. So it wasn't just me. I'm much more intelligent than I thought. In fact, I'm probably the smartest person playing Lego Fortnite right now. Because everyone else is a 12-year-old child. It's pretty dope. There we go. Level 6. Just got past the halfway point. We need one more DL44. And explore the Empire Bunker. She asked me to give this to you. It's an elegant weapon from a more civilized age. There we go. Hunkered down in the bunkers. Get in there and find some gear. Could use the lightsaber or try a clearance code. Blue lightsaber as well. Nice. All right. We journey onward. It's like a cave, actually. It's its own little dungeon. Oh, it's hot. Why is it hot? Oh, it is sweltering in here. My, okay, we just got to be ready with the healing. Ah, but this is where we're going to get the copper and the sapphire, too. Cool. So the rebels are in a level one cave. But the empire, they're in a badass cave. There we go. Oh, this is obsidian. I thought this was sapphire. Hopefully, we can find some sapphires just through playing out this storyline. Because sapphire is even rarer. It's the rarest material. Oh, I can blast and shield at the same time. Dude, forbidden jutsus. That's it. It's lightsaber time. Now we're just playing Lego Star Wars. Remove the Fortnite from this. 
Oh my god, all that childhood training comes back into use. But I do have shield. You gotta remember, I got the shield. It actually works! Wow, the shield makes a big difference there. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having a little bit of fun right here. I can't lie. Wow, those big headshots. 16. It's actually better than the crossbow if you're hitting the headshots. But despite them having such big head armor, it's not actually where you're supposed to be shooting up. Alright. And their armor is just tough. That's the thing. Compared to how much damage they actually do, the Stormtrooper's armor is tough. So, the weaponry may be good. But it's only going to be good on the normal things. These are kind of like endgame power level, honestly. Literally just break it to pick up another one. Oh, we have not seen this troop before. Oh! Oh, he's got an assassin blade. Oh, I did not heal up before coming down here. I regret my decision immensely. Oh! Oh, his is so good. Oh, his was so good. Oh my god, his blaster was crazy, bro. And I think he's still chasing me, too. Oh my god, he is. Dude, the, the, the blaster, it's, it's definitely... A stormtrooper blaster. Are you seeing how hard it is to hit this guy? What are you talking about? We gotta fall back and get more blasters. Later. Where did he go? I should see him on the visual audio, so I don't know. Did he? What the f is happening there? Oh my god. Those stairs just do not work. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not touching any of that. I'm out of here. What happened to that assassin blade? I don't understand, but hey, I survived. I guess. Ooh, hold up. Now this is something we haven't seen before. Mm, special container. With more lightsaber, let's go. Yes, de detonators. Green lightsaber, very nice. So we got a green lightsaber and we have a blue lightsaber so far. They have different descriptions. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age, not as clumsy or random as a blaster. They're quoting village comfort, add decorations. Oh, okay, so we gotta, we gotta make the village look a little nicer here. It's the part where they're like, don't you wanna make the village look nice? Don't you wanna make little tables and bookshelves and sh I'm like, hell no, I wanna see the Star Destroyer. If you don't put a bookshelf or two, they feel like they're just workhorses C-3PO already bad enough life bro just kind of failing his way through the Star Wars universe defend the rebel outpost by defeating Imperial officers and clear sight for rebel lookout so it's actually gonna have us go through and build pretty much everything we unlock through this village system because every level we go up it's having us build something new yeah you stay in there I don't ever want to see you again and we're actually able to build it, yes, without getting more stuff. If it isn't my favorite rebel scoundrel, I mean that as a compliment, of course. Our village is in such great shape we can send search par parties, but more survivors equals more bads. Or more beds. We need more beds, okay. More bads. I thought she was like, no, everyone's gonna start attacking us now. It's like, you never stop complaining, do you? Even when I'm doing all the work. And then we need to go defeat some of the officers. Oh, hold up. That's exactly what this is made for. Wow. There we go. Nice. Max results on that. 
I'd say we make short work of these guys. Alright, here you are. The only one I'm really worried about is another assassin. If another assassin shows up, then we have a bit of an issue. It's kind of why I'm being careful. I feel like the assassins are saved for the very end of the dungeon now. Oh, there you are. What is he doing? He was trying to activate something. I don't know what he was trying to activate. Good thing I stopped him, though. If the freaking assassin guy is going to be anywhere, it's going to be here. Yep, there he is. I don't know if we have the shield to handle him. That's the problem. Our ability to block his shots really helped last time. why it bounces but it does oh oh you rat bastard you tricked me see he's got like tiny bit smarter AI wow and he can shoot vertical too that's crazy dude what was that that was odd bro it was like broke the sequencing or some shit. Oh, I think it just respawned them, bro. 100% just respawned these guys. Ah, uh, that is kind of lame. That really does annoy me. I want to attract the stormtroopers closer. Crazy, bro. This is just madness, honestly. That's the officer. I might be able to kill the officer. Yes, without killing anybody else. Oof. God, when he does that, I don't even want to. Oh my God! Yeah, see, I don't even want to tangle with that guy. Tulsa with the muscle, bro. You get burned. Like I need the Wookie crossbow, and I need like top tier health charms, and I need so many things that I don't have. I actually gotta leave this this cave. I'm pretty sure that I got an officer there. So we're gonna head back. I think I got three officers that'll let us upgrade the village. Hopefully. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Did we actually defeat three officers? We did. Let's go. I knew it. I could tell. I could tell from that distance he was an officer. Village is looking great. We can always improve infrastructure. Okay. Hey, look. She actually gave me the ruby. I was able to, like, get ahead of the curb by going back to my main base. But, I, truthfully, I could have gotten everything I needed in this part of the map. I never... Oh, look. It's Axat. It's not Akbar, guys. It's Axat. And he's gonna be cooking. Search Empire containers for useful loot. We need five Durastil. Buildings and decorations. Okay, yeah, easy. I'm gonna LARP and pretend this is like a little restaurant. God, that grid is so finicky. Why, why are they gonna come stand in front of me while I'm trying to build, bro? Why are they literally gonna troll me? I understand you're interested, but like, Jesus Christ, you guys are in my f way I'm trying to build you a little restaurant don't you see what i'm doing don't you appreciate it later i kind of wish you could set certain items to not go into your inventory automatically it would be a super extra feature but the amount of stuff that drops in this game it's kind of necessary oh here we go get the officer Now the troops crumble without their glorious leader. Dude, these guys have bow and arrows. 
They're just trying to survive too. That's three. I kind of wish they stayed as chests so I could put stuff into them. But it's whatever. I'll just drop stuff. Oh, this is a raid. Uh-oh. Um. Never mind. Raptor had it. <laughs> Raptor had it handled. Wait, here it is. Wow, this is a big one. Hold up. Maybe we can get the bear to aggro with us. Come on, bear. Well, I guess he's going to fight Raptor. No, no, no. Here you go. Here you go. Get involved, bear. It's like they're trying to body block him. They know... Oh, the bear is out there doing something. He's doing something. Nice. Get him, Raptor. Raptor versus bear. Who wins? I win. Too many arrows. Oh, no. In 14 minutes. Okay, we need to find one more chest. Oh, no. We at Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, we got enough. We got enough. We only need two dura still, actually. I don't know what happened at some point that I didn't notice, but okay. Wall mount. Oh. I had seen these are what you put your fish on. And now we have the weapon hanging on the wall. And finally, we can take this village to level nine. Woo! Hell to the yeah bro what do we got to do one bith band collect the cantina stage and rebel outpost you enjoyed so certain this someone brief can perform construction shows, montage add buildings and decorations more buildings and decorations huh what follows is a brief construction montage final build of the uh star wars lego fortnite village you know what i wish kind of like a bethesda game i wish there was a way to control how closely your companion followed you because this dude is always right on my jack it's like he's in love with me and i know i understand i'd be in love with me too i'm like literally the savior of lego fortnite sometimes it's better to uh appreciate from a distance you know what i'm saying like bear man that was the problem he made he didn't appreciate the beauty from a distance and so too raptor will learn my rat oh, this is a this is a bit different i think this is a performing stage is what they said this was no, Rebel Command Center is what it is. The performing stage is another aspect of getting to level 10 village. Oh, third floor even. This is huge. You know, the thing is, this this build is so big, I will be surprised if it doesn't level up the village all the way on its own. And even if it doesn't, there's enough room inside to put new sh where it won't be disruptive. Oh, lord. Oh, you're going to have me put the roof, and then you're going to have me have to go up there. I, I knew it. They always do this, man. There we go. And finally, the Rebel Command Center is complete. Let's get a look at it from down here. Oh, that's actually dope. I like that. That's a pretty complex build. You got like a little spot under. Because now they have vehicles in this game mode. So you have a spot to park your vehicles. And then a bunch of spots to put more beds. And I do need to put one more bed. Here we go. Huh. Do I build it outside? I, I think I do. I think it'll be cooler if it's like right here. Finally. We have achieved. Max level rebel village. And it gets a little Millennium Falcon on the top. That's cool. Look at that. This place is incredible and in all thanks to you. But for now, time to celebrate. Got a new home and the year's best looking outpost contest. I wasn't aware that was a thing. God, no wonder you rebels are losing. You're worried about like giving out ribbons for nice outposts. Getting your sh kicked in by the Dark Lord. Oh, I can perform. Nice. This is what we played. Four hours of this game for. Four and a half hours. It was all worth it in the end.
so I could stick the pipe directly in my neck and throat sing through this magical Star Wars instrument. I hope you're impressed. Kalim Poon, yes, you're my favorite artist of the Star Wars universe. I know you by name. We're gonna head out to the furthest place on the map. And if that isn't the Star Destroyer, then I don't think anything is actually gonna be the Star Destroyer. But that is the one last Easter egg that could possibly be worth having in this video. Oh, these are into the snow biome. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna journey into the snow biome. I have to see. 501, my God. Some of these are so far. I don't know if I could even make it because I'm gonna start freezing instantly, dude. I don't have heat charms. And I did not bring the pepper either. Since it's proving so difficult to actually reach the furthest empire base, I'm gonna go ahead and call an audible and we're gonna go into creative mode. So we can just fly through the air directly there and see if the Star Destroyer is actually on the Lego Fortnite map. Yep, here we go. Hey, it was worth it just to see this and to see it up close too. Oh, we see it. We kind of see where it's going. Wait for me. It's going so far. I'm just going to keep chasing it. I wonder if we can actually get to this physically. This is the best shot we're going to have. We actually know where it's landing. And we don't have to worry about hunger or anything. Whoa. Okay, if, uh, if anything's even left... I think it just went into the Fortnite horizon, but we'll see. We can actually see smoke. Hold up now. I think it's a physical thing though. Like it seems like it's the smoke is a separate layer than the clouds. So I think we can actually reach this. I think it's a physical location. This is in the water. This is ocean. This does not bode well. There's nothing in the ocean. There's no islands. Like there are these islands, but they don't got on them. Nothing special to justify them. No special types of animals. Oh, oh. Dude, oh shit, I think it is out there. I'm surprised it's letting me come out this far. Dude, It look actually, it looks like this smoke is on this island. So what I'm realizing is that if we had gone through the cave, we would have been teleported to this island and we would have saved ourselves like <laughs> probably five minutes of flying. But this does confirm what I was saying earlier that the Star Wars area was instanced. It's its own separate spot. It's custom built. The enemies respawn faster. So if you're really trying to farm high level resources, you should just come to the Lego Fortnite part. Don't even waste your time in the regular overworld. But this also explains why we couldn't find it in my regular world because we didn't get the cutscene. Thereby the Star Destroyer did not crash. Thereby it wasn't making smoke and it wasn't a physical location. We should have been able to see it. And it looks like there's an impact site. Wow, it just came apart at the seams. Star Destroyer. Yeah, and you actually do have to visit this. So if you're fortunate enough for the cutscene to actually happen, take the time. This is part of the missions. Like you have the freaking tower, the control tower. And yeah, controlling nothing anymore, are you? Oh, look, there's a special chest here, too. That design is actually, that's nothing like any of the other chests we saw during this whole journey. Regular loot, nothing particularly special. Maybe it would have had another lightsaber in it if we were playing in our sandbox because we had two lightsabers ourselves. Like, it makes them more common to appear. That's something they literally said in the patch notes. This is really cool, though. I'm glad that I came out here just to get a look. 100% confirmed. You can reach the Star Destroyer. There is going to be some good loot, novel chests. You will have to journey a little bit through the snow zone, so definitely prepare for that. That's what I didn't do. I didn't bring my peppers with me, and it, would, it wouldn't have been out here anyway, I don't think, just because of how it all went down. But GG's! We managed to get that village to level 10, check out the Star Destroyer, and completely finish the LEGO Fortnite Star Wars collab missions.